Welcome to CIE 401, the social and political context of communities. Uh, some of you will know me, but for new students, my name is Eva and I am both the lecturer for this unit and the course coordinator for GCIE. Uh, to introduce this unit, um, I'd like to sort of say that it, it is quite a challenging unit. There, there might be moments where we feel a little bit uncomfortable or, um, you know, a little bit sort of, you know, frightened by having to really question some of our long-held assumptions. But we're going, to, going on this journey together and I'm a learner just like you, so, you know, hopefully this will be a safe place where we can really feel comfortable to engage with some of these uncomfortable moments. Um, so now I'm just going to give a little bit of an overview of what will be covered in this unit. Uh, so in module one, the nature of communities, we will first look at what we mean by community and the different assumptions we make about it and then how that might influence how we define community or see communities and even engage with communities. We're then going to move more on to looking at um, the assumptions we might make about Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander communities and really explore the many different forms that Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander communities can take depending on how we want to understand this notion of community. Uh, in module two, the relevance of the past, we're really going to look at how the past is entwined with the present. So we're going to look at um, the concepts of colonization and colonialism and rather than looking at them as simply events in the past we're going to try and explore them as processes that may very well continue into the present. Uh, the second part um, in this module we'll be looking at the different policy eras that have affected Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander people in Australia. Uh, we'll only be briefly touching on these but I do uh, recommend you you know maybe doing a bit more work in this area in your own time. The final part of this uh, module is looking at Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander people and groups of people that have come together that really demonstrate this continued struggle for recognition, rights and identity. Um, so in module three, the cross-cultural um, domain, we're going to look at we're going to go back and sort of think a little bit more about our own backgrounds and our own cultural positions uh, and we're going to delve into this area called critical whiteness studies which just helps us to really um, challenge some of those ideas that we may think as normal and actually see them in more of a cultural kind of frame. Uh, we're then going to look at how racism can take many different forms and how it can influence our relationships both between people of the same race and with people from other races. The final part of this module will be about um, looking at some of the things that we think of as normal um, in mainstream or dominant Australian culture and how the, these, these assumptions that we make about these certain things can marginalise and create misunderstandings between other groups um, or with other groups. So the final module for this unit is called Recent Events and Impacts and here we're going to really look at issues of governance, power and empowerment um, and really sort of unpack what, what these things might mean and the different forms that they can take. We're then going to look at current um, or contemporary government um, policies and interventions that affect Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander people and really look at them and reflect on them um, from, from that position of where we've gone through all this learning for this unit. Uh, so to just sort of touch again on where I'm coming from for this unit, uh, this is not so much about us looking through a window at Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander people but really about looking at and drawing attention to the different frames that we might be using when we look at this population of people. Um, and that's where it can be a little, you know, confrontational or confronting because we have to really be willing to, um, you know, not question but explore our own assumptions and, um, and even beliefs. But as I said, you know, we're here together and I'm part of this learning journey too. So please, you know, embrace these uncomfortable feelings rather than, you know, feeling frightened by them. 
Um, so please don't hesitate to contact me if you have any questions or concerns during um, this learning journey and uh, I hope, I'm looking forward to beginning it with you soon.